Hi everyone, welcome back to another Little Geeky Reviews. This time we are going to go through the cartoon collection Man at Arms, the heroic master of weapons, and his daughter, Teela, the heroic warrior goddess. So they've come in these all new packaging, loving the actual logo. That's actually dead easy to peel off. I peeled it off with the other previous ones like Skeletor and He-Man. So the um, the art on this is the same with all of this wave so far, where it's all the blue and the Castle Grey Skull round the back, and the back and art for Man at Arms. This version where he's been seen as the Dragon Invasion, so he comes with this like little blaster weapon. Obviously, another comic book as well. You've got Ram Man at the back there. Comes with the usual cross cells and the wave. Same thing with the front with Teela. But on the back, you've got the, as seen on Pawns of the Game Master. So she comes with these various little additional stuff. Again, another comic book. The cross cells, so it comes with the training robot, where Man at Arms is the status, uh, st stasis ray, stasis ray. Uh, Teela this time comes with a sword as well, and then the wave that Teela comes out with. So obviously Teela's the second wave, because she comes with Trapdoor, Stratos in that wave, and also Merman. I believe, like these, which ones are the Trapjaw, is now available on BBTS. Um, well, obviously this time I'm filming, I'm filming this in March, believe it or not. But these next waves with Stratos and Mayman. Now I've seen these coming up, coming back into the UK in Smith's store. So they're actually online now, but they are not available. They're just telling you that they are coming along with uh, Lord Grasp is up there and also Terror. Now, I don't know when the actual release date is for them, when they're going to get them in stock here in the UK. But uh, I, I bet you yeah, BBTS, Big Bad Toy Store, will get them first and then we'll see them over here in the UK. So, let's crack these guys out of their little prison cell and give them a closer look. So, Man at Arms comes with the Wizard's Wizard comic. We've seen this one that was released with, um, I think it was Skeletor. So, same type of comic there. This one is a new one times end so like I say this is with Teela this is the wave 2 let's have a little blimp through this one so the whole pre ternia thing going on there with the dinosaurs you've got your trap jaw there the three headed dragon as well And Orko, obviously King Randor. I wonder if we're going to see the horse coming out in this cartoon release. So instead of maybe Panther or Battle Cat even, maybe we'll get another. Maybe we'll get Teela's horse instead. Who knows? So if we start off with Man at Arms... So he comes in the flat type of basic colours, not like the Origins. I'll bring, I will bring in the Origins Man at Arms, but the design on this, again, is just superb. All the articulation is what we've seen with the Origins, with the arms popping off, the waist, obviously the boot pops off as well, and also the head. So, it's, like I say, it's pretty flat, textures compared to the origin one articulation head bubbles arms come out rotate joint at the elbow twist at the wrist 
ripped the actual hands come off as well twisted the waist legs play out back and forth ball joint at the knee ball joint at the actual ankle as well and twisted the shin on the boot top of the boot I do think they have got the perfect type of sculpt face for man at arms as well especially with the helmet so the colours the paint application is just perfect to the T like I say I will bring in the origins man at arms to give them a comparison at the end so he comes with this little gun now he's got the two handles on there he's got two gripper hands so let's see how this fits superb so there's his little little blaster gun thing going on and he comes with a remolded type of club mace again this is just perfect so let's just move that gun and pop that in there like so now the um, the legs on these they do pop completely straight as well so they are a little bit taller than the original release on them let me just go grab a man at arms so standing them together you can see the difference in the height because they have got like a little bend on the origins legs where these come flat straight like I say and then the detailing on the armour so it's a lot more basic and flat as well and then obviously the, the difference to the mace it's like three four times the size as well so we've got Teela so she does all the same type of articulation and it's just so the arms do pop off the head Ooh, does little little peg there so yeah articulation all around the same waist Ooh, does actually pop off as well and the bit I know the boots pop off for this one now I've seen these being reviewed by others I'll just pop that head off again and probably the arms because this is quite flexible so this is just like an a a slip over it's not hard plastic so I'm not gonna take it off altogether but I believe it's just the white is painted from the base so it is like a little like a breast place there we go So don't want to slide it off altogether because it is a bit of a nightmare to slip off. But you could actually remove this. So she has just got that little breastplate going on there. So the accessories for Teela. She comes with a more flat textured shield comes in this like glossier type of mold little handle on the back there so it will just fit into a hand like so and instead of the snake staff that the origins came with she comes with this little silver sword and she's got another little grip of hands 
to pop in as well which is very good now she comes with this little training robot it's a shame this didn't come on a little stand as well so because the, with the back and art it obviously hovers in midair so it would have been good if you were posing it to have it hovering I suppose you could just use some of that like Invisiwire and stick it on the shelf or something but I think she can just grip hold of them there as well now with the style of the cartoon compared to the Origins original so she doesn't come with all this snake armour and the actual breastplate so the tiara is completely different as well that's like a separate mill but being glued into a hair and then the face detail with the makeup she's got them pointy eyebrows like got me eye on ya <laughs> a lot more exact I think as well this one and then the actual bodice on it it hasn't got all of this detail in like I say this is just a wrap round type of latexy plastic that slips over but a few, I think it's a superb little addition really having an accurate tealer after all this time So drop us those comments in everyone. Let me know your thoughts on the full cartoon collection. Again, which one's been your favourite so far on the release? Really like to know what your thoughts are. While you're there, do the usual. Would like, subscribe and tickle that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any others. I think the next ones I've got coming is the uh, Beastman and I've also got the Trapjaw ordered as well. So they'll probably be coming up once they arrive but thanks for checking in on this one and i will see you on the next take care